Hello, Clearwater Dolphins, and welcome back to a new episode of CNN. I'm your host, Kelly. And I'm your co-host, Namari. On Monday, there will be a NED show presentation in the NPR. On Friday, there will be a Friday flag. On Saturday, it will be STEAM Academy Saturday. Back to you in the studio. Clearwater Dolphins, and welcome back to a new segment called... What's up with you with Miss Wilk? Hi guys! Miss Wilk, what's up with you? What's up with me? Well, I am very busy starting to get the art show going. It's on April 4th. I can't wait to see what everybody um, creates and it's gonna be a lot of fun and see all the art that's up. So that's what's up with me right now. What is your least favorite food? My least favorite food is canned tuna. I do not like tuna sandwiches. I do not like the smell. I do not like the taste. And if somebody in my house is making one, I actually have to leave the room. It's so bad. I just don't like canned tuna at all. What is your what is, what is the coolest place that you've ever been to? Literally, the coolest place I've ever been to is Alaska. I gotta go to Alaska on my cruise and we did some cool things like um, I rode a bike to a glacier. <gasps> we gotta go to a glacier. We gotta go to um, see totem poles, people actually making totem poles and carving them. Um, I got to see dolphins. I got to go into Glacier Bay where you get to see glaciers that are actually um, coming loose and falling into the ocean. It's just a lot of fun. So that's the coolest place I've ever been. Who is your favorite dead person in history? Okay, so if I could go, <laughs> if I could see and talk to somebody who has already passed away, I would love to talk to Leonardo da Vinci because he was amazing. And I want to ask him about the Mona Lisa because nobody knows who Mona Lisa actually is. There's all kinds of theories. I'd like to find out who it is and ask him about all of his inventions. He was just a very smart, smart person. I think he'd be interesting to talk to. Well, that's all for now, Clear Dolphins. Hello, Clear Dolphins. My name is Autumn, and I'm back with this week's weather. On Monday, it's going to be 78 degrees, plenty of sun, and pleasant. On Tuesday, it's going to be 77 degrees, partly sun, and pleasant. And on Wednesday, it's going to be 71 degrees cloudy. And on Thursday, it's going to be 66 degrees, mostly sunny. And last but not least, on Friday, it's going to be 65 degrees, partly sunny. Stay classy, Clearwater. Hello, Clearwater Dolphins. We're back with this week's Word of the Week. This week's word of the week is general, please. Shark. Can you guess which picture means shark? Does it mean to be under arrest? Does it mean to have animal shells or scales? Does it mean to learn the alphabet or does it mean to have a small sea animal? If you guess to have animal shells or scales, then you are correct. And give yourself a pat on the back. That That is it for this week's Word of the Week. My name is Hannah. And my name is Autumn. Stay classy, Clearwater. Hello, Clearwater Dolphins, and welcome back to Poll Question. Thank you to the 300, and 300 people who participated in last week's Poll Question. In first place is amusement parks, in second place is beach, and in third place is road trip. This week's Poll Question is, what, which member of your, your, your friend group are you? Number one, the leader. Number two, the good friend. Number three, the funny one. Number four, the smart one. And number five, the creative one. My name is Kelly Gonzalez. My name is Luis Shimero, and see you next week on Poll Question. What's up, Clear Dovins? I'm Daniel. And I'm Daniel, and welcome back to Joke and Riddle of the Week, and let's get on with the riddle. What is the capital of California? I don't know what. C. That's all for now, Clearwater Dolphins. This is Sports Report, episode 21. The White Sox win against the Angels and won 15 to 8. 
Marlins dominated the game against the Astros 12-6. And the Warriors win against the Rockets and win 106-104. Lakers won against the Bulls 123-107. This, this was Sports, Sports Report. Report. Peace. Peace. Hello, Clearwater Dolphins. We are back with this week's Guess the Disney character. We are going to give you some clues, and you have to figure out who we are talking about. First clue. She has a pro for a pet, and she holds a big yellow pole. Second clue. She is a villain who wears a purple and black gown, and she has a green face. Have you got a clue yet? This week's Disney character is Jermal, please. Maleficent. This week's Disney character is Maleficent from Sleeping Beauty and many other Disney movies. That's it for this week's Guest the Disney character. My name is Kelly. And my name is Autumn. Stay, Stay classy, classy Clearwater. Clear Hello, Clearwater Dolphins. Welcome back to this week's segment on Truth or Lie. My name is Jasmine Lopez. And my name is Mario Velasquez. This week's staff member is Mr. Martinez, second grade teacher. Is it A, he played in the Little League World Series? Or is it B, he was in the stadium when the Red Sox won the World Series in 2004? I would love to say that it was A. Uh, unfortunately, when I was 12, our, our Little League All-Star team, we got really far, but a few steps short of reaching Williamsport, Pennsylvania, which was every 12, is every 12-year-old's dream. The truth is, um, in 2004, when the Red Sox played in the World Series, I actually made the trek to go to St. Louis to watch the last two games, games three and four, when the Red Sox finally ended the curse of Bambino Research, that sixth graders. Uh, it was their first title in 86 years, so it was great there for the last out, lots of celebrating, like hugging strangers in Red Sox, you know, gear and stuff like that. So it was a good time and I'm glad I went. So the truth was B, I was at the 2004 World Series when they won it. That's all no, for now, that's the water dolphins. Bye. Hi, Hi Clearwater Water Dolphins. dolphins. Welcome, Welcome back to State of the Week. week. This, this week's state is Louisiana. The, the capital of Louisiana is Baton Rouge. Did you know that Louisiana is the only state in the Union that does not have any counties? Being 450 feet tall with 34 floors, Louisiana has the tallest state capital. The French explorer Robert Cavalier de La Salle named the region Louisiana in 1682 to honor Francis King Louis. Sugarcane is leading farm product in Louisiana. Other important crops are rice, soybeans, cotton, and corn for grades. That's all Dolphin. for now, Kawada Dolphins. Dolphins. My name is Caleb Schneck. And my name is Jasmine Lopez. Bye. Hey, Clearwater Dolphins, today's animal is a wolf. Wolves are the largest member of the dog family. The gray wolf is known as the timber wolf in North America and the white wolf in the Arctic, or more generically, the common wolf. Wolves are legendary because of their spine tingling howl, which is used to communicate. See you next time. Hey, Clearwater Dolphins, welcome back to Cartoon of the Week. This week's cartoon is Ed, Ed, and Eddie. This show aired January 4th, 1999 and ended November 8, 2009. Ed, Ed, and Eddie are also clueless about girls as everything else. Eddie may not be the brains of the group, but he's the idea guy. Ed, Ed, and Eddie go on a summertime adventures involving part-time jobs, tree houses, and of course, girls. The director of this show is Danny Antonucci. That's all for now, Clearwater Dolphins. See you next week on Cartoon of the Week. My name is Martha. And my name is Hannah. See you next week. Those who are trash in the ocean, our animals will get sick.
Go to Sasa, the sewer ever flows to the ocean. Try to recycle it if you can. Keep our ocean clean! Keep our animals safe. Make sure you keep the ocean animals healthy by picking up trash. Keep animals safe by not throwing trash in the sewer. Keep healthy because the sewer drains lead to the ocean. If we do this, we will keep our animals safe. Keep our animals safe! We're going to tell you how to keep the ocean clean. Do not throw trash in the ocean because animals will get sick. Throw trash in the trash can or try to recycle. Don't throw trash in the storm drain because it flows through the ocean. Part of the solution to water pollution. Keep our ocean clean! Keep our ocean clean! Hello Clearwater Dolphins and welcome back to this new segment called Inventors and Scientists of the Week. This week's inventor is Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci painted the Mona Lisa. He also painted the Salvatore Mundi. He sketched the flying machine. He painted the Last Supper and many more. He was born on April 15, 1452 and died on May 2, 1519. That's all for this week. My name is Callie. And my name is Hannah. See you next, next week, week on Adventure and Scientists of the Week. We're back. And we have an interesting fact. You breathe on average about 5 million times a year. Fun fact. Mr. Ochoa and Mrs. Ochoa had a baby boy. Yay! Yay.